Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar, and here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Sunday, the 6th day of March. Here we go. First of all, I want to remind you that Matzai Shabbos, Saturday night, through Sunday, and through all day Monday, is a two-day Rosh Chodesh. Sunday marks the last day of uh, Adar Rishon, the first Adar, and Sunday night on Monday marks the first day of uh, Adar Shani. hope I said that right. Uh, Sunday is the last day of the first Adar. Monday is the first day of the second Adar, uh, two-day Rosh Chodesh. Make sure to add all of your Rosh Chodesh additions throughout your davening. Now, an important law for you as Purim gets closer. You know that when we go to hear the Megillah in Shul, we try very carefully to hear every single word of the Megillah, the Gansa Megillah. That's the expression. We want to hear the whole entire thing, every single word of it. That's the way it's supposed to be. If you miss a word, some people make an important mistake here. If somebody coughs next to them, makes a real loud noise, they think, oh no, that guy just ruined the whole Megillah reading for me because he made a noise and I missed that word and we're done thanks to that guy. Now I have to listen to the whole Megillah all over again. Well, not necessarily. You see, you do have to hear every word of the Megillah, but you don't have to hear every word of the Megillah from the reader. If there's a word that gets run over by somebody's noise, you can say that word orally just by looking in, even if it's not a kosher Megillah, even if you're reading it out of a book, you can say that word quietly to yourself, and you'll get 99% of the words from the Balkore, from the reader, and one or a couple of words here and there you're allowed to do on your own, and that's totally fine. You're just not allowed to do this at the beginning of the Megillah, like to lop off the beginning because you came late and missed the first two sentences. Uh-uh, you can't do that. Or you left early and missed the last two sentences. You can't do that. Or you missed a piece of the story, let's say the big son and Sarah's part, where they find, uh, you know, that uh, Sarah's is trying to be poisoned, and you missed a piece of the story, an entire piece. Can't do that either. It's This rule is made for little pieces here or there, words here or there that you miss. You can say them quietly and quickly so you don't miss everything else he's saying from your own Megillah, and you will be out to see the Mitzvah, you will still fulfill the Mitzvah, and you don't have to go hear the Megillah all over again. If you're not sure exactly how to apply this rule, and you have an incident, listen to the rest of the Megillah, and then ask the rabbi afterwards, and say, here's what happened, here's what I did, I filled in the word this way, and the rabbi might tell you that you're okay, and you don't have to hear the Megillah again. So do double check if something like this happens, but at least you know that you have options that might be available to you if, the, if this happens to you. Thanks for logging on, log on again. Uh, tomorrow for more. Have a very good Chodesh. Have a great month of other. Bye-bye.